Hey guys, this is uh, Ricky Martinez um, making another uh, video for the Show Me Your Sith uh, jam we're doing for uh, Badassery. Uh, real quick, uh, here's an edit to uh, what I currently have. Um, right here, I'm changing the hand. I, I wasn't too happy with uh, the way the hand was going. So. Since he's a Sith, you know, I can get away with a lot more stuff. Maybe, um, <clears throat> add a fireball or, or something. So I'm experimenting, uh, getting rid of it. And here I didn't like it, so I'm changing it again. Uh, and you gotta keep trying. Now I'm adding a, uh, lightsaber. And here I'm going on Facebook um, there I'm changing it up I really like the way this hand turned out I'm not sure if I'm still going with that but uh, for now I guess it's working um, throwing in some basic colors um, flopping my image I uh, constantly flop my image to make sure that it's reading well right now it's not reading very well to be honest uh, I still have to flop it back and, uh, work on it for about another I'd send about another 30 minutes to get it right um, but I'll focus on that later uh, alright still working on the hand and I have that man's face for reference I'm not sure who that man is um, if anybody can uh, point him out I, I'd know I just I just googled evil smile found that um, here I'm focusing on the face again um, trying to get my values right trying to make the face read as much as I can um, trying to get my lights and my uh, my darks uh, correct here I'm adding some highlights um, more highlights to the neck piece I'm not sure exactly what it is what that uh, what that neck piece is I've always kind of um, liked the that the head gear or neck gear type probably comes from uh, Joe Mad that uh, that neck that necker chip he does uh, here I'm going back to the shoulder pad I'm it's a little off but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to fix it just hitting it up I'm just trying to get just trying to get my uh, my values and my uh, my whites correctly um okay uh, I went on Facebook there I kinda cropped it so y'all can read my stuff <laughs> um where am I at again okay here I'm um, I tried some crazy stuff it didn't work so never mind that and here I'm still trying to make the uh, the armor as shiny as I can uh, I didn't use reference for this so it's it's a little off but you know, I want to. I want to go. Uh, I want to use as little reference as I can for this piece. Try to make it as realistic as possible with uh, with little reference. Um, <clears throat> let's see. I'm constantly uh, merging layers. Creating a new layer um, and experimenting with it. If I like it, I'll go ahead and uh, merge the layer down. If I don't like it, I'll get rid of it. Obviously. Um, here I'm going back to um, to the face, constantly going back and forth from the face to uh, to the armor and the anatomy and back and forth. Um, 
And here I had some reference pictures I took of myself, or that my wife took of me. I actually kind of like that uh, that blue lighting on it. I might I might overlay that. It actually almost fits. And there we go. I'm trying to get my uh, my light source. Um, the background is not fully done yet. It still needs a uh, it still needs a lot of definition to it, but. I know there's going to be a light source coming from pretty much everywhere on the ground. So I'm going to underlight him as much as I can. Um, so here I am working on that, on that lighting and uh, the reference picture I have. Again, I like to loosely um, indicate where the light is. Um, I, I've kind of learned, um, this recently, <laughs> um, I'm by no means a professional yet, I'm trying, but I've found that this is very helpful, um, early start, you know, just lay them out as fast as you can, see what they look like, and then from there start to detail, just giving you a good outline of what it's going to look like. And here, um, I got rid of that arm. It just, I, I uh, early on, I went in detail, uh, or actually, I went in and uh, motion blurred the arm to make it look like there's some action going on there. And uh, that wasn't very smart. I did it for thumbnail purposes, just to see what it would look like. And uh, I went ahead and just got rid of it now. Okay, and here again, I'm uh, here again. I'm working on the uh, the. I'm not sure what you call that. A staff, a staff uh, lightsaber, staff staff saber. Um. And motion blurring it again, not learning from my first mistake. <laughs> but I need I need to see what it'll look like just for uh, for planning purposes. And I don't mind going back and reworking that because I'm not a professional, so I need to know what it looks like before I go ahead and um, detail it. It's a fail safe that I do over and over and over again. I just need to make sure it's correct. Or at least works a little bit. There I'm working on the back leg and I got rid of that kilt thing that I had. I'm um, not too sure about this pose right now. As of right now after I'm done with it. It looks a little feminine. But there's a little bit of movement so I kind of don't mind it. I, I might throw the kilt back in there just to hide his butt. Um, I'm not I'm not a big fan of uh, butts, guy butts. Girl butts are all right, but guy butts on a on a piece are a little a little awkward, a little feminine. And that is a uh, that's not a good aesthetic for um, for male pieces. I mean, Unless that's what you're, what you're going for, but that's definitely not what I'm going for. Um, and here I'm I'm testing out my brush. I'm making sure the opacity and the uh, and the um, opacity and the other thing. I'm making sure it's it's making a a good line and not getting crazy on I me mean, here I am when you see the um, the black and white that's just a saturate I, I learned that from Feng Zhu it's a saturation layer all black and you just click it on and off it'll show you pretty much a grayscale of your image and here I am reworking the lips and the nose um, Those wondering what um, I know, Chris Chris George was on uh, on my stream. Um, 
if you're wondering, I mean, people, a lot of people like my music, which, you know, it's kind of cool. If you're wondering what I'm listening to when I'm playing, I, um, I set the, uh, the channel to, um, Glitch Mob. If you're interested, it's Glitch Mob, and pretty much, you know, from there, it'll give you some good music. Um, I actually found Glitch Mob watching, um, <clears throat> some Massive Black videos. I love Massive Black. So, uh, shout out to, uh, El Coro and the Massive Black guys. What's up, guys? Uh, they're a big inspiration to me, you know, Massive Black, uh, Jones, uh, uh, Brockna, uh, um, Jason Manley, all those guys are awesome, a uh, huge inspiration to me, and of course my guys, uh, the bad Badassery guys, uh, Chris Sheehan, um, you know, Luke Schroeder, uh, John Taylor, and, you know, all the guys from the crew, um, thanks for the motivation guys, and, uh, lastly, to, uh, Little lady, uh, Dan Luvisi, uh, awesome guy. If you guys, I mean, if you if you're watching this video, obviously you know about art. But if you don't know who Dan Luvisi is, uh, check him out. All you gotta do is Google his name. Dude is awesome. So uh, he's my biggest inspiration right now. Uh, so yeah, enough uh, enough cockwriting. We're back to the piece here. I'm trying to fix the head. I, I went ahead and fixed the head because it was too big to the right. It's popping out too much. But uh, we're nearing the end of the video, and uh, so far I relayed it out pretty much. I did a separate version, which I constantly do, and it uh, slows me down a lot. But that's pretty much it for now. This is uh, part two of... Show me your Sith. Um, if you guys are interested, join the jam.